Microsoft recently confirmed that the Windows 11 24H2 update turns the device encryption by default. This version of the update is not yet rolled out for the normal public. Windows insiders are currently using it. But when it is released in the public, several users are going to lose their data due to BitLocker encryption. In this video, you will know why I am saying this and what a normal user can do to prevent it. For users who don't know about BitLocker encryption, it's a data security feature that prevents other people from accessing your data. This feature encrypts your whole hard disk and makes it inaccessible unless you enter the key. Usually, your PC is locked with your password. You need to enter your password to access the data. However, if someone has physical access to your PC, they can simply plug out the hard disk, put it in another machine, and access the data. Or use a portable OS, such as Ubuntu, that runs through a USB stick. The password you enter while starting your PC is only for the operating system. It doesn't lock the data saved on your hard drive. If someone tries to access the hard drive on another operating system, they can easily access the data. To prevent this, Microsoft introduced the BitLocker encryption. It encrypts the whole hard disk so that no one can read that data. Initially, this feature was only for enterprise users, people who have sensitive business data. But with Windows 10, Microsoft introduced BitLocker encryption to normal users. And now, with Windows 11 24H2, they are going to enable it by default. People who use Windows for general purposes like browsing, playing games, watching movies, and once in a while opening a few documents, don't bother with the BitLocker encryption. They simply don't need that kind of security. So, imposing a BitLocker encryption by default is too much for them. The real problem with the Bitdefender encryption is its encryption key. After the encryption, your data can only be accessed with this key. It is a 48-character numerical key which no one can remember, also you don't pick this key, Microsoft's BitLocker algorithm randomly generates this key for you. You can print it, save it as a file, or save it in your Microsoft account so that you can use it later. It is for sure that several users don't have a printer or simply don't bother setting it up. With save it as a file, usually people save the key on their computer without realizing that they need this key to access the computer. The default option is to save the key in your Microsoft account. This is the safest place to save your key. But I have seen users who don't even know what is a Microsoft account. They simply open their PC, use it, and shut it down. When you ask them these details, they have no clue. Another thing that can add to the situation is normal users don't usually see the BitLocker pin prompt. It will only ask when you upgrade your system firmware or use your hard disk on another machine. And normal users don't go through these things. So there are chances they will forget this thing called BitLocker pin after a few years when they need it. So this move by Microsoft is going to be a reason for data loss to several users. If you lose access to this key, you cannot access your data. Even you cannot use your computer. You need to completely wipe your hard drive and install a fresh OS to use it. So if you are a normal person who doesn't need this kind of security, check the BitLocker status of your computer. If it is enabled, make sure to put the encryption pin where you can find it easily, or better disable the encryption if you don't need it. If you are installing a fresh Windows 11, there is a workaround to skip the device encryption. While on the installation screen, press Shift plus the F10 button on your keyboard. This will open the command prompt, here type reg edit and hit enter. Then in the registry editor, navigate to H key local machine, system, current control set, control, and then BitLocker. Now here in the empty area, right click and select new DWORD 32-bit value. Name this key as prevent device encryption. Now set its value data as one, click OK, close the registry editor and command prompt, and then continue with the installation. If you are going to opt for it, make sure to remember where your key is or get ready to lose your data. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.